Hi and welcome back to score game. After we talk to the locals in the third village, we will actually fight the first boss in the game, so keep watching. Ok, so we're gonna talk to everyone, but there aren't that many new characters. There are like two more pages or something. Edel drank the potion and felt more deeply aware of the threats around him. Ok, so apparently I could drink the potion if I press A. Ok, let's see what that means. Ok, so now we can actually see the HP, the strength and the defense for the enemies. Ok, does this last forever? Probably. Ok, interesting. I like that potion. Ok, so... I found out by mistake apparently that you can drink potions by pressing A. Ok, let's talk to... Granny Tornbach. Out of the blue, the Thieves Den was established next to Darn Tower. I hear it was built there to block up the entrance. Not that I mind having Thieves between me and the Cursed Tower, but why? Why will they set up in such a place? The Cursed Tower. If the Granny knows something. Okay, this village is just surrounded by trees. Okay, I can go there. Can I take this? No. Palma, the mayor is acting quite suspect. He keeps wandering around the village, muttering something under his breath. Something about giving the thieves everything he owns, and hoping that's enough. What is that all about? Okay. Who else is around here? Old Man Lahan. When I was young, I used to archive historical documents. One of them tells of two goddesses who saved the country from a great Cataclysm. If such goddesses truly existed, we wouldn't have to live in fear of those accursed monsters. I saw a very suspicious looking man wearing a black cape earlier. Okay, so the suspicion ma suspicious man also came to this village. He was in an awful hurry, ran right out of town to the north. There's nothing up there but monsters and thieves. I wonder if he fell into either category. If you ask me, it's, uh, it's trouble with so many elderly people here. We're sitting ducks if ghouls should come knocking. So we haven't been attacked yet, not even once. Supposedly all thanks to the village's treasure, the silver bell. Ok, so there's another area up here. Okay, it doesn't say how strong this enemy is because we have to kill him first. Okay, he's pretty weak. Well, I'm pretty OP actually. Not that he's weak. It still doesn't show. Okay, how much XP does he give? Ok, 8 experience. And 25 gold. Okay, so I guess this is the shrine we need to investigate for the book after we talk with someone in the village. Okay, back to the village then. Old man Corvo. Everyone hates the thieves, but their leader Goban is a uh, really a great man. Once when I was under attack he came to my aid, saved my life, he did. I don't know why but I have the impression the thieves are not the bad guys. I saw very suspicious looking. Ok, we're ready to talk to you. Green is swear. You should keep away from the shrine on the mountain. They say it's haunted by hooded ghouls. Those who, those who enter the shrine are doomed never to return again. Nice story. Anyone here? No. 
it, I think this is the smallest village yet. Back in my mining days, I once came across an old chamber filled with light and the rain. I saw the most beautiful statues of two goddesses. What's the rain? It felt sacred, like it, uh, I was looking on the guardian spirits of the mine. Since then, we miners have been praying every day. One day, one of the goddesses' uh, statues just disappeared without a trace. We all took that to be an omen. But what does it mean? What does it mean indeed? It means the goddess came to life. Okay, this guy just... Oops. Okay, anyone else around here? He okay, will talk to you. He okay, will talk to this one. Wait, he didn't talk to this one. I hope he hasn't wandered too near the monster's nesting ground. The man makes me worry so much. Okay, she's worried about her husband. What's new? Okay, I think we talked to everyone outside. Uh, maybe this woman over here. A strange old woman named Jabba lives in the village. When I was young, she told me all about the history of Asteria. Long ago, this was a bigger, lov uh, lovelier country ruled by two goddesses. Okay, so that's the woman we need to talk to. So we're gonna start from the house up here. Out in the western fields, there are two giant trees. One is toward, uh, toward the south and the other is west of the old mine. When I was young, I used to go out and pick delicious fruit all the time. Wish I could do that again. Interesting activities. Have you been to the lakeshore? It's so pretty. You should go see it for yourself sometime. The pier especially is the perfect spot for basking in the sun. Okay, Mina is in a bad way. The thieves have been on a rampage and I guess it's because that's where all the rich folk live. Okay. Uh, if you ask me, it's trouble with so many elderly people. Okay, we already talked to you. I don't know why I thought I didn't talk to that one. Okay, who else is here? Yeah, I think this is the main quest lady. Yep. Sarah's crystal. I see. You intend to find the book of wires within the shrine, do you? I believe you'll be needing this key then. Okay, thanks for the key, I guess. The ruins atop the mountain were once known as Solomon's Shrine. If one of the books of wires is there, it will no doubt be somewhere in the shrine's lower levels. The entrance to the lower levels is well hidden, but what crystal will you show? Will show you the way. But the crystal will show you the way. Okay. Future anything may await you in there. However, make certain you are well prepared before you go. Okay, apparently we need to. Okay, how do you? I need to equip the crystal. Can I equip the crystal? Okay, we have the key and equip the crystal and what if I press the consume button? The heart of the crystal shines like a star in the night sky. Okay. Uh, anything else you can tell us actually? No. And let's move on to... Okay. I guess this house... The mayor. Oh, young man, where did you come from? Ah, from Barbado. You know Dr. Uh, Bludoden? Good, good. I have something to tell you, but you must promise me you will not let me let the villagers know about it. About the bandits? Will you keep this conversation between us? Uh, yes. The villagers' charm of protection, the silver bell has been stolen by thieves. 
I desperately wish to get it back. If worse comes to worst, I'll pay any price the thieves may ask. Will you negotiate with them on my behalf? I asked the villagers, but they simply wasn't know of this. Yes, I will. You did? Thank you so much. The thieves' den is north of the village on the mountain road. If you meet their leader, please tell him that I'll pay whatever price he has for the belt. I'm counting on you, young sir. Don't worry, dude. I'm just gonna kill all the bandits and get your bell. Okay, so apparently the bandits are not uh, friendly. Did I talk to you? Yeah, I did. Ain't nobody home. Wait, what? Luta's disappeared again. He can be so thoughtless sometimes. His lovely wife is quite worried about him. I wish I had the cute girlfriend who'd worry about me if I suddenly vanished. Yeah, I know, right? I feel you. You don't kill the chicken. Okay, any more houses? I think that was the last one. Maybe there's another here. Oh, never mind. Okay, so time to... Go to, 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 go each, to go here and read. Okay, so only three more characters, or no. Only seven more characters we need to unlock. I guess the bandit leader, maybe the hooded man, and who knows, maybe the goddesses. Okay, where were we? If he said, uh, I guess, I guess here, in Jeba, Sarah's aunt who lives in Zephic village, extremely well versed, uh, versed in Hysteria's history and culture, herbs and even fortune telling. The other villagers really look up to her, but she didn't really tell me anything, she just gave me the key to the shrine. Okay, Zephic's elder guards the silver bell which has the villagers treasure for generations. Which has been. Okay, seems troubled recently though and seeks a kindly non-villager to aid him in an important matter. Elinda, Albert's wife and Mark's mother, lives in Zepic and is very set in her ways. Serves, serves as a model housewife, devoting herself completely to always making her home a more comfortable, comfortable one. He, the only child in Zepic, but he doesn't let that get to him, get him down. He is perfectly content with just playing outside and can often be found fishing at the lake or basking in the rays of the sun. Well, everyone in this village is kind of a boomer. Granny Edda, Albert's mother, she lives in Zepic and fancies herself an expert in wild plants, uh, nuts, berries and the like. She used to pick Roda fruits all the time, but lately it simply hasn't been growing. Lut uh, Luta's wife lives in Zepic and constantly worries about her husband, okay, who sleepwalks almost every night, often putting himself in great danger in the process. Okay, I don't think we met uh, Luta. No, we didn't meet Luta yet. Okay, Clive has the face of an old man, but is only in his twenties. Poor guy. Has grown weary of being single but lives among mostly elderly individuals in Zepic village, making his girlfriend hunt a challenge. A Norman from Zepic who believes that if monsters exist, then so too must the goddesses described in the ancient legends. As such, he spends his days praying for the goddesses to appear. The Palma, a woman from Zepic who worries about her health, uh, faltering due to the large number of elderly individuals look, living around here. What? Also worries about the elder to his frantic behavior. Why, why would her health falter? Because there are a lot of elder people in the village. I don't get it. But okay. Old man Cronan. An old man from Zepic who used to work as a miner. In those days, he recalls there were two goddesses statues enshrined in a mine 
a cavern, but one day one of them simply disappeared. Hey Demi. Uh, kindly reserved woman from Zepic, beloved by all the villagers, recommend speaking with an old woman named Jeba. If you have any questions pertinent to your adventure. Old man Pablo, an old man living in Zepic who absolutely loves fishing at the lake and does so every single day he rarely ever catches anything, but he doesn't seem to mind, he just enjoys the sun. With Granny Lucia, a deeply devout old woman from Zepic who believes that the villagers treasure the silver bell is what keeps the monsters at bay. Feels that its tonal quality has a purifying effect. Uh, Albert, Linda's husband. Okay, who was Linda? Okay. Linda's husband and Mark's father. One of the few young men in Zepic, he feels it's his duty to patrol for monsters. Recently spotted the man in the black cloak pass to the north. Granny Soya and Granny Ob. Obme, an old lady from Zepic who adores ghost stories and readily blames unexplained occurrence of ghosts. Parts of a hooded spirit in the shrine to the north, so who can say if it's real? An open-minded old lady from Zepic who seems willing to give anyone the benefit of the doubt. When asked about the monsters of the uh, or the thieves, she simply says, I don't know what they're thinking. And old man Corvo, an old man from Zepic who has who was rescued from monsters by Goban, now regards the thieves as horrible individuals and believes the recent incidents must have been someone else's doing. We okay. okay, still need to find six uh, characters, and one of them. Okay, and one of them has to be the husband of that lady who is worried. Okay, time to do the save. And let's do this. I don't think we can die anymore. I mean, come on, look at this. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the side quest first. So that means we're gonna go for the thieves. We should be somewhere around here. We still didn't unlock the this enemy. This enemy is full information. We only know he has 10 death. Okay, the tips should be here if we, if we follow this path. Okay, the game is totally unbalanced. I mean, this is nightmare difficulty, and I'm just destroying them. The okay, tips there. We already found it. And there's a chest. The chest is empty. What a surprise. Okay, Morgan the thief. I guess that's one of the... Okay, I guess we can talk to him. Link him back. Talk to boss. Uh, okay. You're either brave or stupid kid. What ha why have you come here? Don't tell me you actually came here to hunt us down all by yourself. What do you mean we're rampaging through the city? everybody's silver. That's some kind of joke? You've got it all wrong kid. Believe it or not, there really is honor among thieves. We only steal from those who make their money by the blood and sweat of honest workers. If it's stolen silver you're after, look around here. Not a trace of it here. All of our all of ours was stolen too. I knew it. I knew the thieves were not that evil. I think they're even uh, keeping the the monsters kind of away. I mean, that's why they set their base near the tower or something. If we ever find the culprit, he's gonna pay dearly. You can be sure of that. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's it. Okay, we can negotiate. Do we? Huh? Who told you that we stole the silver bell? I'm afraid you are misinformed. You know how important the silver bell is to the people of Zepic. I think that will break the villagers' hearts and that's something we will never do. Okay. Believe whatever you like, but I'm telling you, we have nothing to, to do with it. Okay. 
The damn bandit keeps turning up in the weirdest places. Mysteria is not a big country, there are only so many places one can hide. So why the hell is it uh, is he so hard to catch? See, where are we now? Passage. The door pushes against the door but it did not budge, nor did there seem to be any keyhole. Okay, so if the guy if the thieves don't have the the bell, then what? Oh, I hate these controls. Are so they are so confusing. I okay, want to read a note for this. These new guys. The goblin head of the bandits residing in the thieves den at the foot of the dark tower. Okay, so that's the door to the dark tower. Who never rob from the weak or defenseless, and is highly respected by all those who serve under him. Okay, look at the thief, a young thief working under Goban and the first thief Goban recruited has a full mount and even fuller temperament. But this very honorable man who will never betray anyone's trust. But there was another guy, why isn't he here? What about this guy? Morgan the thief. And okay, now he's unlocked, what? But I talked to him before. A fat thief who seems like a ruffian at first but has a real heart of gold. Used to work in the mines with Goban and almost lost his life down there. But Goban saved him from his fate. Okay. Okay, but what did he say the second time? Oops. Damn tower swarming with monsters. Some are even equipped with swords and armor. Thickening. If I were to go in there, I think. I'll probably just let Muscle Impulse take over and try not to think. Okay, so I guess that's that. Dude, it's so fast to level up. Okay, we unlock some more information. Don't really need it. I'm gonna go back to the the village elder. I think he was here, and tell him they don't have the bell. You mean to tell me it wasn't the thieves? They're not the ones who stole the silver bell. How am I supposed to believe that? Who else would do such a thing? The hooded man. I suppose there was uh, that man in the black cape. Whom several villagers saw on the mountain road. That's it. I already knew that, bro. But why aren't the, uh, any monsters attacking if they, if the bell isn't here anymore? Just a mimic. It's locked. No, I don't want to remember. But at least it's near the entrance. Okay. Another lock chest. No, ruby has been obtained. Hmm. What's a ruby? A ruby set in gold. Its condition is virtually flawless. Okay, let's see if we equip the ruby and go back to the entrance maybe we can use another statue mm, no okay no enemies that's weird Okay, the room isn't that big. The map, I mean. 
And there are no enemies for some reason. Something here. Okay, maybe I need to, uh, the ruby adol use the shrine key. Oh, we didn't even a uh, uh, boss fight or? Okay. Okay, a boss fight. Interesting. Oh my god. At least I can heal up if I don't move. No, I can't. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this is gonna be insanely hard. Can I destroy this? No. I guess I'm dead. If I can't heal up. What is the boss even doing? Wow. What was that, dude? What was that? I mean, I'm really strong, but that was just insane. Okay, let's see if there's anything else around here. And what does this ruby even do? Hello, ruby. What do you do? Okay, I'm gonna go back outside and level up since it's not gonna take that long. And we're gonna give this boss another try. And if we can't do it, I guess we're gonna have to level up one more level after that. Maybe I should also go and buy some uh, new armor. But I don't think there's a point in a. Uh, buying anything that isn't the best uh, weapon so i need to i need 5k gold or maybe nah maybe i should get a second armor second weapon and second shield as well i think it's gonna be easier later to farm gold so i don't really need to to do it now I don't know, that boss just seems really hard. So, my only strategy is just to out level him. Okay, 55 and 40. 55 and 40. Okay, 20 strength, 20 defense, and I think 30 health. And we need 800 for next uh, level up. I mean, I can just level up just by farming for like 5 more minutes. But let's try the boss. Uh, first we save. Okay, let's do it. Nothing else around here. I mean, how can I go for the boss? I barely do any damage. How can I go for the boss if he stays in the fire? I know where he spawns next. Not really. What he, does he even do? Oh my god. Oh my god. The damage of those blue flames. Oh my god, nah. It's just stupid. 
I mean, he's doable, but taking too long. I better just level up and make this easier. Come on, bro. Yeah. Yeah, let's just let's just not do this. I mean, it's better to just level up. I'm actually gonna go back to to the second city and buy the ring. Maybe we can do the ring quest. Okay, so the normal enemies are pathetic, really easy, but the boss fight isn't that easy. I mean, it's not hard, but it takes too long. I don't, I don't have the patience. But the game is still awesome for an old game, insanely awesome. Looking forward to playing the other YS games, especially Lacrimora. Get out my face. Okay, we can go and buy the ring. Uh, I need the suffering. And okay, now let's see what it does. And let's see, the suffering crystal ring inscribed with a message from its giver. Okay, it doesn't do anything, or does it? Uh, Yeah, it doesn't increase any of my stats, so we can only give it back to the guy here, and maybe he's gonna give us something. Okay, not here. Where was the bar? Where are you running, boy? The doctor again? And where was the damn bar? One night man. You found the ring to the pawn shop to the pawn shop and you bought it back? Thank you so much. Now I can actually face my wife again. I can't offer you much in return, but you have no idea what this means to me. So please take this. Okay, Adol receives Okay, so we got five hundred extra gold from this uh, side quest. And that's it. What other side quests do we need to do? So I was saying we need to do the this side quest. There was this woman over here. Maria Amaria. The silver harmonica. We have to bring the bell to the mayor in the third town. Did we have any quests in the first town? I don't think so. But does this guy have a quest? One of these other guys has a quest. I ain't learned much about the crooks, but I did find out that long ago. The Roda tree. Okay, maybe we need to bring a seed to this guy. We'll see. Okay. So. Uh, Uh, buy weapons. Okay, this costs 5k, right? I don't have it. 2k! Okay. I don't know what to say, bro. Sure. 
Yeah, let's see the difference. Uh, not here. Equip. Only 10 strength. Wow, what a waste. What a waste. Just a waste of time. Better just to level up. Did we do we one shot them now? We kind of do. Okay, well, since I'm gonna level up, at least I'm gonna explore the, the other area. Okay, and also know of two locked chests. One chest is here on the other side, and one is in the shrine area. Okay, I'm gonna explore here to the west. I think there's another tree here. Okay, there are two pets. Let's take this first pet. It just goes on, dude. Yeah, this just goes on. Yep, there's another tree here. And another cinematic. I think this is the same cinematic, actually. Yeah. Okay, so we found the second Roda tree. And what else? Okay. Okay, so the pets converge here. And I think this just goes back to the Roda 3 map. Okay, we didn't find any chests, which is really weird to me. There should be more chests around here. Okay, and we explored this map. Okay, only this map remains. Or is it is this map or this is the map that goes to the to the village and the map with the mine? Okay, so I guess we explored everything. Okay, so I guess the game is pretty short. I think we literally explored everything. The only thing we need to go inside the Roda trees, maybe inside the mine and inside the tower. Okay, can we... Wait, wait, I'm gonna save first. Let's not risk it. Okay, let's see if we can kill this thing. No, it in instantly kills me. Good thing I saved. What if I... Oh my god, everything instantly kills me, dude. Okay, let's not uh, go to the mine then. Okay, let's just go back to the... To the shrine area. I actually don't mind games being shorter. I mean... It ends before... It gets boring. And instead of making the game mega long like they do it nowadays, I prefer they make a sequel. Like I really love games where 
there are multiple episodes and not just only one long game. I think I love what they're doing right now with Final Fantasy 7. I mean, they're doing uh, episodes, but episodes are also long. Or whatever they're calling it, parts. Yeah, good thing these things uh, instantly spawn. What weird combat system? Just walk, just walking to them. Come on, dude. Yeah, I think I should have kept my money and bought the 5k uh, uh, yeah, sword, shield and armor and not waste 2k gold on this uh, stupid sword. Not much of an upgrade. And I was crying about uh, giving 50 gold to the medic at the start of the game and we get like 50 gold by walking in two enemies. But I still don't know why would we ever want to go and heal in the city. If we can just heal by not moving. Uh, I, I thought they're not spawning anymore. Come on, bro. I'm here. A151. Farming simulator, walking simulator. Okay, we need to kill eleven more, ten more, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I have eighty health, eighty five, and six. 80, 85 and 60. Okay, we got 30 strength, 30 death uh, and 20 health. That's what I call an upgrade, not this stupid sword that cost me 2k. I still don't know what's the point of this crystal. Maybe I have to. Uh, I have to give it to him, to somebody. I mean, this ruby. A ruby set in gold. Its condition is virtually flawless. Why do we need this ruby? What can we do with it? Was anyone looking for a ruby? I don't remember anyone looking for a ruby. Okay, let's uh, save. And let's try this. And by try this, I mean just beat the boss, it's not that hard. Just takes a long time. Just 
Come on, stop spawning there. Holy, the damage is real. He got murdered. Okay, I can take the damage, doesn't matter. We kill him in 3 hits now. Oh my god, I'm still losing. Three hits bro, three hits, what? What is this upgrade? Nice. Nice. That was one weird boss fight. It was legit not taking any damage the first time we tried, then we leveled up and we three hit him? Like what the hell? But apparently after defeating this boss, we only unlocked the entrance to the shrine. So we will explore the real shrine areas in the next episode. So check that out and as usual if you want to support the channel please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, hit the notification button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.